So I've had a few people who's been watching my aged website case study and they've been asking what the theme is on my website and some of you are already running that theme, which is popcorn theme, of course, have been asking how to improve the sidebar and also how you can improve the related posts that show at the bottom of your pieces of content. So in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can add some really impressive sidebar articles and it doesn't use any plugins, which is always a bonus. So let's get into this. Hi everyone and thank you for joining me on today's video. I'm going to show you live on screen now how to install some related posts on your sidebar if you're using the popcorn theme. A few people have been following my case study and many of you have got the popcorn theme on your WordPress blog and you've been wondering how I've created them on my website. I've also managed to add a block, a reusable block that I use at the bottom of each one of my articles as well. So if we jump on the computer now, I'll show you how you can quickly, and it is very quickly, create these lovely sidebars within the popcorn theme and also how to make a reusable block that you can put at the bottom of every article, which will hopefully get you more click through. So let's jump on the computer now and we'll get started. Okay, so here we are, Gardenia Organic, my public case study. And you can see if we click into an article now, I've put this back to the default settings. So this is how your website probably looks. If you're using the theme popcorn, if we just click over, this is the theme. You can see here it's $99 for unlimited websites and that also includes future updates. There are different versions and variations of this theme coming out, but currently this theme at the moment is the one that we are running. You can see some demonstration websites there. But if we go back to our theme, out of the box, this is what you will see when you add the sidebar to your blog post. And like I said, if you want to change that, if we do the simple instructions, you'll quickly create a much nicer sidebar. So how do we do that? Right, okay, so let's go to the dashboard and let's click widgets. And this is probably what your sidebar looks like with these listicles of related posts. So the first thing we need to do is add some featured images. So you can see on the right hand side, these are all the options that we can do inside this box. So the first thing we need to do is add the image. So let's click featured image. And the second thing we need to do is choose the size. So we need to choose medium. The next thing we need to do is make sure these images are clickable. So we select this button here that says add link to featured image. When we select that on, now you can see as we hover over, this image is clickable along with the link to the article itself. You can then do some other settings like you could add the date the article was published, the author's name, or you could even add the meta description as well. But for now, I just like to keep it quite simple. In fact, let's leave the date on. So we'll leave it with the featured image, the link to the article and the date for the article. The next thing you're going to want to do is create the category. So what is displayed in that sidebar? What type of articles are displayed? Now I like to add my money articles. So any post that is related to products or gets traffic earns me money. That's what I like to have displayed in my sidebars. So I have a category that's called tools. So if we type tool, you can see now it comes up with my category. When I select that, it's all the articles that are related to money posts that are showing. You can obviously choose whatever category you wish that is relevant for your website. Then you can choose the number of articles. So we can use this slider and choose the number of articles in the sidebar. Now I recommend you only choose between five and six. And the reason for that is if you're using display ads like Ezoic display ads on your website, then one of the highest revenue ads that you can have is a sticky sidebar ad. Now that sticky sidebar ad appears on your website as the viewers are scrolling up. And when they come to the end of the sidebar, your sticky ad will appear. And as they scroll up, that sticky ad will stick to the top of the sidebar. Now, the more articles you have in the sidebar, the longer it takes for that sticky ad to appear at the top. Therefore, you do want to have some interesting content in the sidebar, but not too much. Many websites now don't have anything in the sidebar. It is basically just used for that sticky display ad. But I like to add a few and then my sticky sidebar ad will appear after that. So there we go, that is all set. Click update 
And if we go back to our article, let's open one up. And you can see there the sidebar now looks really good. And as I say, as we're scrolling up, when we come past the last article, our advert will appear in the top of the sidebar. I'm not currently running ads on here yet, but when I install Ezoic, the sticky sidebar ad will appear after this last article here. So that's the sidebar taken care of. How do we create those articles right at the bottom of your content? If we scroll down, you can see the related posts that we have are here. Again, look very similar to the ones in the sidebar. They're just relatable to the bottom of the post. Now, the widget that you've set in your sidebar, that is a widget. So that will appear across all of your articles on every single sidebar. Now, I've not found a widget for installing these related posts at the bottom of the article without doing it manually. Now, it is a very quick process because we're going to set up and make some template blocks. So it will just be one click and it will appear at the bottom of your article. So I get into the habit now of telling my writers, once you have written the article, install this block at the bottom and it will appear on that article. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a number of different template blocks. These are reusable blocks within WordPress. So first thing we're going to do is go to a new post. We don't have to give this a title or anything, but I'm just going to write test so you know that we are just messing about with this page. And then the first thing you're going to want to do is click this add button and let's add a latest post block. The next thing we're going to want to do is change that to a grid view. So click here. And the next thing we're going to want to do is set the number of posts because you can see it's only added five. So on the right hand side, just like we did on the sidebar, we can adjust what shows up in this block. So the first thing I always do is I set this to six actual posts. So you can see now we've got a nice formatted block. Again, the next thing is a featured display image. And again, click that to medium. I'm also going to want to add the option to add a link to that featured image. And again, you can add the date, the author, even a meta description, whatever you prefer. In this instance, again, I'm just going to keep it to the link and the date. The next thing you want to do again is create the categories. Now, this is the important part. So not every category will have the right related post showing at the bottom of it. So you're going to want to create a number of usable blocks. For instance, on this website, I may have five categories. So I'm going to create five different blocks. So the first block I'm going to create is this tools one or my money post. So if I type tools, click that, you can see the articles that appear are related to tools, so gardening tools. So next thing you're going to want to do is click these three little dots and click the add to reusable block. And then I'm going to give this block a name. So I'm going to put six tool related posts. Save that. We now have a usable block. So let's add another one. So we're going to click add block, latest post, click grid view. So let the number of items to six, add a displayed image, make that medium and make the image a clickable link. And now what we're going to need to do is select a different category. So this time I might want related posts for lawn care. Click that. And there you go. You can see we have six articles related to lawn care. So every time I write a new article on lawn care, I can add this relevant block. So I'm getting relevant posts appearing at the bottom of that page. So again, click the three dots for the option menu, click add a new reusable block, and let's name this six lawn care related posts. Click save, and we have another block. And you would continue to do this for the number of categories you've got. So if you've got 10 categories, I would suggest you create 10 different blocks. Now these blocks are used, we can create these on any posts we wish. Okay, so here we are on an article. You can see our lovely sidebar we've just created. If we scroll down to the bottom of the article, we can see, there we go. We've got our final thoughts, our wrapping up paragraph, but we have no clickable links through to the, any related content. 
So let's just go to edit post and we're going to add one of those blocks that we've just created. So simply go to the bottom of the post, click add a block and now you can see our templates are here. So if we want a block that's related to let's say lawn care, then we just select the one that we've just made and there we go. There is our block. So you could maybe add a heading and put related posts, update that, go to preview and you can see that block will have been added, there we go, to the bottom of our article. And like I said, the more blocks you create, the more reusable blocks you create, the more options you have. And obviously, as you add more categories to your website and more content, different articles will show up in this widget, but they will be related to the block that you selected. So there you go. That's how you make the blocks at the bottom. And that's how you make the sidebar on Popcorn theme. I hope you like that. Hope it's helped you out. And like I said, we're not using any plugins, so there's no detriment on speed, but hopefully you'll get a lot more clickability on your content. So thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.